I'm Ashley Kamara, and I'm the residence mentor here at the Yukon College, which basically means I'm here to make things entertaining on residence and help to uh, help people adjust to living in a community like this. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we have available here. First off, we have our singles building residence. We have 49 single apartments. They have each a bed, sink, lamp, desk, a small fridge, and a push pin board. They all have windows that you can open, which I find really important. We have a laundry facility. It's $1.50 a load, and it accepts loonies and quarters only. We have a large common kitchen with two stoves, fridge, some small appliances, and tons of counter space. There's washrooms and shower and tub rooms on each floor. We have two public computers in the single residence, complete with internet access and printer. On our main floor of the single res, we have two entertainment lounges, with each a TV with cable, DVD player, new sofas, microwave, sink, coffee maker, and some of those sorts of little things. There's also an Xbox available for residents to sign out. We have a foosball table, darts, a ping pong table. And on our second floor, we have two more lounges with couches, tables, skylight, microwave, and stove. And all of our lounges have telephones for students to use for incoming and outcoming call outgoing calls. In our family and multi-person apartments, which we have 33 apartments available, they range between two to three bedrooms. They have a living room, kitchen and dining room, one to two bathrooms. Some have single, double, or bunk beds. Some have private entrances and some have balconies as well. Nine of these apartments are attached to our singles building and the other 24 are a separate building which also includes, include an unsupervised kids play area, two lounges with TV, DVD, computer, internet, phone, and laundry rooms. We also have a residence building for mature residents and I say that somewhat loosely just for those looking for a quieter space. The, there are 12 rooms in that building and again have a common entertainment lounge, computer room, kitchen, and their rooms also include the mini fridge, desk, chair, lamp, and again windows that open. On our residence, alcohol is permitted in the private rooms and not in any of the common areas. Um, out of our 94 apartments, 45 of these are wheelchair accessible, so that's either in mature singles or in our family multi-person apartments. And also we have security on campus 24-7 for students to access. As for the rates, there's a $20 application fee for residents. Um, our singles and mature rooms are $375 a month or $1,500 per term. Our large singles rooms are $412.50 per month or $1,650 per term. Family apartments and multi-person apartments Attached to the singles building is 900 per month, and those are two bedrooms. And the other family apartments and multi-person apartments are 1,000 per month, two bedroom, or 1,200 per month for the three bedroom. We plan lots of activities for our residents, both on and off campus. We've gone to Liard Hot Springs, Car Cross Desert, we go out to SEMA, all sorts of places, and those, those are just some of them. We, do, we go to concerts and festivals in Whitehorse, we go bowling, we do grocery trips, all sorts of things like that. And on campus we'll hold things like cooking nights, movie nights, music nights, sports games, um, even fondue parties. We have evenings with elders to making boots, mittens, doing traditional cooking, some storytelling, lots of different things for residents to get involved in if they feel like it. There's no pressure, you get to choose what you want to do. And we also really encourage residents to let us know the kinds of activities they like to do, and we try and make those happen. Oh, and of course, we have campfires year-round. And we book up quickly, so apply as soon as you're interested. And I understand apply the sooner the better. Yes, that's right. Because there's a waiting list? There is a waiting list, and so we like to get people on that as soon as possible. For our phone or internet in each of the rooms, that is something that you deal with directly with Northwest Tel, and we just provide them proof that you are living here. Um, that includes cable for TV too? That does include cable as well. Okay. And for bus transportation, we have a bus that comes directly to the college Monday through Saturday, 
um, and that's right at the front of the college. That's the city bus? It's the city bus, yep, and yeah. I believe it's two twenty-five per ride, and you can also get a monthly bus pass if you feel. Okay. Um, and we also have lots of bicycle trails and walking trails all throughout the college, like mm -hmm. on campus, and getting you can take some of those downtown or throughout Whitehorse as well. Yeah. So any tips for new students coming to, from the communities on how they should be prepared? What should they bring with them? Um, well, their favorite stuffed animal, of course. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost. Bring with you, you know, your personal belongings. We have a lot of things available here, too. And, you know, for those of you who haven't been to Whitehorse, there's a lot of things that you can purchase somewhat cheaply here. Um, Again, you have a small fridge, so you can keep some things in there. We have a cafeteria that's open um, in the mornings and for lunch. And then in the evenings, we have a bookstore downstairs that also holds food in it and also different clothes and books and things yeah. like that. And you always have the option of cooking for yourself. Yes, I strongly encourage cooking for yourself or cooking with others because yeah, yeah, nothing's better It's a shared than, kitchen, right? That's right. Sharing food's always nice. Okay. Anything else you might want to add, Ashley? I'm really looking forward to meeting yeah. anybody who comes here. And you enjoy working here, I can tell. I really do, yeah. Right. Thanks a lot, Ashley. Thank you.